Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. How so? Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high-performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Hmm. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open the door and make sure. You must not. You cannot. That is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. So, this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome. Okay, welcome to Grape House! Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House! Ta-da! This is Grape House in its entirety! So, let's start explaining the first floor! Ahem. Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like how there's a strawberry hall over there, there's a grape hall on this side. And when you go through Grape Hall, that means there's a grape tower. The second floor of Grape House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House. I've prepared five guest rooms of different types along with a relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explain with words. So you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. Mm -hmm. That's all from me. Any questions? Like, like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Huh? huh? Is that necessary? Hey. What are you saying? Of course it is. But it's supposed to be an escape game. So how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? So, I decided to use your stomachs as the time limit. Don't tell me. What do you mean? In other words... Well, simply put... Yeah. It means kill someone before you starve to death. Lies. What the heck? <laughs> if you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey, hey hold on! What? Starve? Damn it. Damn it, how much more of this do we have to take until we satisfy? Uh, was he serious about there being no food? I don't want that! No way! That's the one thing I don't want! I don't mind starving as long as I can eat! Uh, just let me eat already! Jeez. As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Sessions are truly annoying. But at least try to stay calm. Now's not the time for you to panic! Well, being loud here isn't gonna help us. So for now, we should explore the inside of this building too. Right? After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Alright. Then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Hold on this time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Sonia. Like she already left with Gundam. Hmm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. I do not blame her. After all, you have a sort of serial killer fetish with bones protruding through the girl's skin a bit. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't feel bad for you. Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. Akane, you too? How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grape House. Then... Now then, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. I see. Hmm, so you're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place. <laughs> Alright! Let's start with Grape Tower! Show some spirit! Let's start with Grape Tower! Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it, there's no way I'm going to let myself starve to death in here. Huh? 
Creep house, huh? This place is terrible taste as well. Yeah. Creep tower is beyond the door, right? Just like at Strawberry Hall. I only need to press this button. Show some spirit! Alright, leave it to me! Nekomar raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Hmm? It's not opening. Huh, that's weird. When we were at Strawberry Hall, this should have opened. Huh? Don't tell me it's out of order. Find time for it to break down. Well, it obviously shouldn't. Hmm? Hmm? Did you hear something? And that's when Nekomar started shouting. The door opened. But what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I see. So this is Grape Tower. Hmm, the structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. <laughs> However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. I can see both of these colors. Because, you know, there's, I think it's the cones that, that, that take in color and the rods that take in light. I may have that backwards. Well, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. And people who, um, and red and green are processed through the same rods or cones, whichever it is. So some people are red, green, but colorblind. Because um, those cones are shut off. Or rods are shut off, I don't know. I, I can't remember. What is blatantly different? This door here. On the Grape Tower door at the bat far back, there's a strawberry image on there. A strawberry door inside Grape Tower? That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of Strawberry Tower. Huh? Hmm, so on the strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, there's a strawberry door. That's even more complicated! <laughs> However, this time, this door might connect to the outside. I see. It's obvious by looking at this map, since there's nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House. <laughs> if so, the only thing we can do is try it. Hold it! I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? What did you say? Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuichi? Um... Do you really want me to be around them at all, ever? I mean, seriously. Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. So you ran away. Do not blame you. Well? I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely, you say. It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. And it's not rare. I've been right so many times. You have no... I think I found out the secret of the Funhouse's structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? I was gonna say something snotty, but I couldn't think of it. Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. Hey, hey! First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? See? On the other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, Grape Hall's on your right-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Um. Now, here comes the main point. With those two buildings... Whoa! Ah, so you're here all along! Hey, hey! Hey, Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. Hey. You disappeared so suddenly. I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito. You. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagito. 
Man. Huh. Was that annoying for you? That's right. Hell yeah it was! I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. This is trouble. I see. So it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey. hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut up. Oh yeah, thanks to you, bastard! Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigations would take more time. Oh well, yeah. There aren't many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Damn it. Right now? The only thing I found out is... I don't get this at all. There's seriously no food anywhere. This ain't funny at all. Damn it. I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we... You know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around. You went to You imbecile! What are you implying? I'm sorry! It was close. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you'd gotten your hands on my forward Doc Davis of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters going to be okay? I shall go. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry Hells' indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the forward Doc Davis of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that. Oh. Now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found! Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... Oh well, I should listen to what everyone has to say. Now then! Is it fine if Gundam, Fuyuhiko, and I represent our teams and give the reports? Wow, sexist much, Nagito? Damn right! Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course! Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. Damn right! I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House also has guest rooms similar to the ones on the second floor of Strawberry. <laughs> but instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, also like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in the lounge too, and a picture of Count Olaf. I'm looking very much forward to... The Netflix series of unfortunate events series. And I heard that little trailer that's going around online is fake. Kind of like that American Horror Story uh, freak show trailer uh, last year. But hey, might be good. Might be good. However, instead of the grape button that was on the phone in Strawberry House's lounge, there's a strawberry button on the phone in Grapes House's lounge. Now then. Now, I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the button shows where each phone connects to. The picture on the button shows where each phone connects to. That's probably it. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you this. I won't let you say such nonsense like I forgot. Monokum has said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the funhouse. Hey, could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi, and you lowly humans. Kneel. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this! <laughs> Behold! A motor! It's a ship part! And there's my little hamster right there. Based on its extremely small size, isn't that... Th that's just a radio-controlled toy! Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever bought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. 
I'm not asking about that. You mean the ship part you found was just some radio-controlled toy? Loser! <laughs> you totally got tricked! I never said a single word about the ship being real! Stupid idiot moron! Looks like we don't, need, don't even have the strength to get upset. Hmm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. Like, way alone. And like, forever. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. No. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone like me. Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. Hmm. Hmm. Considering how you think you're not important, it's not at all important, so why don't you just shut up and let Chiaki speak again? No good at all. Which means it's not that important at all. Hey, bastard. Just hurry up and say it already. Um. Well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. What? What celebrities do that? That's be a Japan thing. I don't think celebrities is spelled correctly either. Hmm. Then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there. Ever. Okay? Can I get back to my conversation now? Thank you. Actually. Ah, also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma archive. A lost child? What? Huh? Where did she go? Hey! Hey, don't just hide, come on out! <laughs> Hello! So the lost child was you. Right? Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you all would react. <laughs> it's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. <laughs> oh, sad. It's so sad to get used to it. <sighs> she seems a little tense. Um, um did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monami? <laughs> yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. No. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. But I'm honestly happy that you're here. Huh? You, Akane? Hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? No. I'm expected to be food? Bears are bigger than rabbits. I think you should eat a bear. I hear it's a specialty in Hokkaido. Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse? Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently, and the strawberry tower we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. <clears throat> the two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is facing the elevator, right? Um. But inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator, right? And so, if we think about it and put those two together, the two towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. 
Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and telephone? Then, in the same way. I, wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, it would mean that Strawberry House is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. Um. As well as the opposite. The grape door that was at Strawberry Tower would lead to Grape House. Meaning, we opened the Grape Hall's door when we came in here. So... Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps... Which means, when you look at the other side of the Grape Hall door that we use to come in here... Yep. Yep. The Grape picture should actually be on here. Then all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side. Mm. That might be impossible. Huh? Impossible? Why? Well, Hajime and Nekomaru were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? <gasps> What's wrong with that? Well, when you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? See? Such as I assumed. How, how do you know? Um. When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly... The Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Huh? The door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Um. But why? Perhaps... The doors to Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed so that only one can open at a time. See? I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Hmm. Then, the reason the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you so what I mean is... Was it because we opened the Grape Hall door? Yep. When that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because it was waiting for Strawberry Hall's door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like... Like, you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get? But aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? There's no way they're the same building. You don't know? You didn't notice? They're just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. By reflecting a colored light onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Wait. Then what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Maybe the floor is just a screen, and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see. Then it's safe to say they're the same building, right? What? But this is a very important problem, so isn't it better if we test it out? Test? Um. For example, we should leave something behind here, and we'll all go to Strawberry Tower. Right? And if it's still he there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Want me to stay then? Hold on! No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. <laughs> Why can't you notice them? Hey. I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess is that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. Mm. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there'd at least be something like Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? It's quite high performance. It seems that it can even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Okay. Then it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey! What about Nekomaru? He's a heartless robot. <laughs> I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But, but if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? Sheesh. Like you said, if I cease all functions with sleep mode, 
the sensor won't detect it, but... Do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo-prejudice. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. And once they enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. It is far too dangerous, even as an experiment. It is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll leave this handbook here, and we'll all move over to Strawberry Tower. And if, by chance, the handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? You're right. Let's try this. We left behind Chiaki's e-handbook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Please skip all of this. Like, all the going back and forth. Damn it! Skip it! God. Oh yeah, we never checked out this, uh, this here statue of... Someone familiar. It's a bronze statue of an ogre. Why is this ogre statue wearing it? Now, I forgot when I, re when I played this game the first time that her nickname, Sakura Ogami's nickname, is Ogre. So, because I thought it was Monokuma being mean. I see. He may still be being mean, but it's, it's not necessarily that. I must say, this elevator is rather quiet. It is like the Toad's Wart. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, hey. Toad's ward? What's she talking about? It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems like it's moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. If two towers are connected in the middle, the distance between them shouldn't be that much. Alright, let's head over to Strawberry Tower. Oh, Monami, you're coming with us. Gundam's way ahead of us. Ah, and so is Nanami. Good. If you press the button next to this door, you should be able to enter Strawberry Tower. Hey, hey. Then I'll press it. Stay back. Wait. Step aside, you fiends. W what? The sound of evil. In accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Go by four dark devas of destruction! Pierce through, Supernova Silver Fox Sun D. Choo choo! Click. Ah, it pressed the button? <laughs> Truly, this is the skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse. Soon, the door of destiny shall open. Wow, well, how amazing! Your hamsters are truly skilled. So you have appeared. I see. Your eyes manage to follow Sun D's movements. As expected of the Dark Lady, you have my praise. Amazing! Amazing! Truly amazing! You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. Th thank you. Oh, that's so cute. They're such a cute couple. Huh? Pfft. You didn't need to bother with your hamster press it. <laughs> Ah, oh, jealous much? Mm. Just as I thought. It's taking a while to open. Mm. Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower, then wait for the other door to close. At that moment, I heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. My! Oh, look over there! The moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonia raised her voice. When I looked where she was pointing... It's there, the handbook. Yep. Yep, there's no doubt. This is my student handbook. Huh? If the handbook Chiaki left in Great Tower is here, then that means... <laughs> it seems that we've confirmed it. 
Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Huh? Then that door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears it's connected to Grape House's Grape Hall. This is trouble. But it also means that we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Well, I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. Well, anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you already uncovered a secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally, all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you really pull through for us. Oh. My. God. Seriously? I've been helping you guys all this time. However... However, why was this building designed so strangely? You're so evil! There's probably no reason. It's simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokuma needs. Um, who are you again? That's... I'm Monami! Why did you forget about me? <laughs> that reminds me. Whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? Or announcement? What do you mean? Just According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my. Huh? Is it that time already? Damn it. Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Monokuma Allow me to answer. Every single day up until now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on this island. And thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. You guys? Did you guys mistake me for some kind of pretty alarm clock? Hello. Ah, well, it's totally true that I'm pretty, but... Huh. Hey, what are you trying to say? For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can't go outside, and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. <laughs> also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. <laughs> I don't like this. What's wrong with him? Well, if there's no announcements, we can just look at the clock. Um, Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first floor lounges. Or second floor, I guess, you should say. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. It's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Hmm. Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Room assignments? Um. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Hmm. Why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes. Yes, let us do that. Man. That's a bummer, but, well, I guess it makes sense. This, too, must be the will of causality. Then, ladies first. Now then, let us begin. Now then, kittens, choose which house you would like. Um, let's just choose Grape House. Staring in a red room is just going to strain my eyes. Oh. Then the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Also, each house had guest rooms of varying quality, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For now. We need to decide those next, huh? But there are only five rooms in each house, right? And then one guy will be left over. Then that means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? Rock, paper, scissors, of course! Rock, paper, scissors is like the use is like God's will. It's used to decide everything. Normally in America, it's like I'm thinking of a number between one and something. I remember teachers doing that when I was a kid. Um but, yeah, it's rock, paper, scissors here. Suddenly, the rock, scissors, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun. And the results? <laughs> uh, sorry, I ended up winning so easily. That's right, I totally forgot that Nagito is the ultimate lucky student. 
<laughs> so I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. Huh? It's decided. You two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner... <laughs> it's me! I will be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Me and Kazuichi are next. Man. So I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch cold. Hey. Hey, how about you, Grape House Girls? Did you all pick your rooms as well? Yep. Yeah, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. Sonia and I had the deluxe room, and apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms. Huh? Oh, why did you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over. It's not like that. It's good enough for me. You guys may think it's pretty crappy, but it's a palace compared to my room. Uh, compared to my home. So there's a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Hajime, if you would like, please use one of them. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. You can't do that! Oh my. Why not? Well... I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know? And it should totally be me. Um... What are you saying? Miss Sonia? What am I... Huh? Uh-huh. So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all. He is my boyfriend after all. Thank you. Like... Even... I don't think he tried to check us. <laughs> it seems that you're the only one who thought Hajime is suspicious. God damn it, Nagito. God, he is so... Arr! Arr! Don't you want to just strangle him? He's the one that's planning all that shit. And <laughs> he's the one that planted that shit in Kazuichi's mind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Of all people, you're gonna say that. You're really gonna say that. Right? Hajime, you can use one of our leftover rooms. Thank you. I'll feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. Oh, you're such a decent guy. Ugh. I would have totally done the standard room. But even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Oh. Now then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Oh, man. It, like, it doesn't make any sense. And so, all the guys except for me ended up staying the night on the second floor of Strawberry House. I thought we had Grape House. Oh. Yeah, no, he's right. I'm sorry. And all the girls, plus my leftover self, stayed on the second floor of Grape House. Jeez, uh, just as I thought, I was forgotten. <laughs> well, I'm used to it after all. <laughs> I get the standard room. So this is the second floor of Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. Yeah, it is a much easier color on the eyes. Hmm? What do you mean? You see, Strawberry House is a quadrilateral, but Grape House is hexagonal. <laughs> that means this place is far more spacious. It is quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure do think about petty stuff. What the fuck? That's not petty at all. Sleepy. Ah, oh, so sleepy. The deluxe rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? Yo. The two rooms at the front are the crappy rooms, right? Hajime, you use the room next to the lounge. Then... So the standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy as pie! I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's faces. I'm really quite good at 8-bit... ...pictures. Sorry. For, sorry for the little brain fart there. You don't really need to draw our faces, but the nameplates might be a good idea. Good night. Then good night. After reaching the item limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to her deluxe room. Good day. Now then, I shall retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> good night. See you tomorrow. After exchanging good nights, everyone went into their guest rooms. I should get some sleep too. Um, I think I was assigned the crummy room that's next to the lounge.
This is a surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. But I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. I will definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. Oh, we're, we're speaking in Morse code now, huh? Ah, oh, shit. I wish I knew that. To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. This concludes the Monokuma Theater Morse Code Edition. I wonder what he actually said. It's morning already? Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel like my usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over there and see what time it is. Let's see, the time is... 9 a.m. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do now? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to. Or it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. Free time! About F and time! Alright, I am going to stop there. I have been doing this straight for two hours. Um, but the video is going to be obviously uh, divided up into parts that I feel is best. I wonder how my pet's doing. I haven't done taken care of it. Oh, it's dead and it's shit all over the room. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope if I am coming down with a cold, it's not too terrible. But do please like, subscribe, and fave for more Danganronpa 2 as well as other videos.